I had a dream that I, I had a dream that I walked into a room and spoke to Ice Space. Okay. Honestly, didn't know anything about her. Yeah, it's a her. A couple of weeks before I had the dream, my nieces told me that they liked her music. I did a little research to see who was who she was, and that was it. Three days later, I had a dream that I met her in an empty room. I walked up to her and asked her if she knew what she was getting herself into. In the dream, her hair was black, not red. I just kept asking her if she know what she is, I guess, getting herself into. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I remember Ice Space because she went kind of viral because she was kind of hanging around North, Kim Kardashian's daughter, and that wow. was weird to everybody. This is a very good mm -hmm. warning from God. God is warning this lady because I hear in the spirit that she will be sacrificed sooner or later. So you seen instead of seeing red as a witchcraft, or as a occultic or uh, Illuminati, you saw black and it's a very danger part because that's a, that's a sign of somebody being marked to be sacrificed. And I, this is a very critical time for this lady. Uh, I wish that somebody will be out there to really talk to her let her know, hey, be careful what you are doing. Be careful not to get involved deeply into this. It's crazy. It is crazy. You know, it's so awesome. To I've been a Google. I've been a Google how old she is. Go ahead, though. It's awesome to really have a dream like this. And that shows you that God is speaking to a lot of people. You know, because somebody will be like, if this person make make video about this and wow. post it on Facebook or YouTube, people will be like, why are you in that business? It's not, it's, oh, wow, 23 years old. You know, it's not like you're in the business. It's just God loves his people. God will always bring one message wow. to these people for repentance, for them to also wake up. Thank you for sharing your dream. Had a dream. Um, I had a dream about Prophet Java. What's his name? Lobi. Lobi. There was a huge book on stage that looked like the Bible, but had Java on the side. He was also taking women captive and set, sent to his church. Wow. wow. I love this part because the world needs to see this. The world needs to read this dream right here. And understand that uh, nobody is trying to attack a so-called quote-unquote man of God or woman of God. But God says upon this time, he will pour out his spirit upon all flesh. And when God begins to pour his spirit upon all flesh, they will begin to dream dreams. They will see visions. They will know what God is saying concerning this uh, uh, evil so-called pastors and preachers look at this replacing himself his book in the name of bible and i don't i don't know if he has a book or not but this shows you that these people are going far away from the bible they are going all the way off from from the bible now they're presenting themselves and they're putting a lot of people, women. It is so crazy because if you if you see their church, their programs is full of women. They're putting women in captivity. And the Bible says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. How can you wake up? How can you wake up if you just so gullible that you believe everything that these people will say. Because if you always believe everything that these people will say or they are saying, you will not have the room to give God a little space to explain things or to bring dreams to you. A lot of people that are their gullible members or their family or their friends, you know, will see this dream. Oh, oh, maybe, maybe the enemy is attacking the church. No. This dream is not from Henry Monique. 
But this dream is from somebody like you're seeing it right here. Repentance is needed. I know they are not going to repent. But they are gullible members. Please wake up from this deception. Wake up from this false prophecies, false calling names, false. All this is just deception. It's a brainwashing. I've mm. seen a sorcerers doing this also. I've seen witch doctors prophesying. They don't call it prophesy. They just call it, uh, uh, they're using uh, wisdom. They're just, uh, you know, speaking to the dead. The dead will be giving them what they're presenting. That's what the native doctors be believe. That's what a lot of this witchcraft, that's what they believe. And you see a lot of Christians tripping off prophecies. Why God can speak to you. Tripping off deliverance. Why God can use you to deliver yourself. He was doing deliverance and a whole bunch of kids was there. I'm just like, boy. And then someone told us in the chat. No, no, I didn't tell you that you say you're you stop talking about him. He's a true man of God. You see that? You better lay your hands off of him. And I was like, what in the world? <laughs> and you you will see how the a lot of their global members will be telling you God is going to punish you, God yes, is going to kill yes. you for for touching on the man of God. God is going to uh, do this. I, you, I'll be like, wow. Is that how deceptive people can be? Thank you for sharing this dream. God is going to use this dream to touch at least one or two people. Amen to that now.